guys welcome back to miss t's doll room and today i am unpacking one of my rubbermaid totes and not only am i unpacking it i'm adding to it so this particular tote houses my never removed from box fashion avenues from way back when i think you guys have heard me talk about how i just went crazy back in 1995 and i hunted all these fashions down and at one time I had a nearly complete collection of all of them except for a couple of exclusives from uh, India. I think they were the only ones that I was lacking at one time. But over the years I've sold a lot of them off but you know me being obsessed over my fashions I probably still have most of them uh, never removed from box because when I bought them I would buy at least two. One to play with and one to keep. So. As I was going through this tote, I remembered that I had bought some fashions from a friend of mine, Stephen. Stephen worked at Mattel as a designer for a while, and he became friends with a lady who recently passed away a few months ago. God rest her soul. Her son contacted Stephen to ask him if he would be interested in purchasing these fashions and accessories. And when Stephen, you know, posted pictures in our little chat group, I immediately said, yes, I would like to have them. And when I get to the end of the video, you'll know why I jumped on them. But I'd like to show you what I managed to get. I got all of these fashions and these accessory packs that I'm getting ready to show you for a whopping $73 and that included shipping. So the first fashion I'd like to show you is fashion number 14291. It is a Ken fashion with the green corduroy like pants and sweater with dress shoes and the sunglasses here. The boxes are pristine. When I tell you this lady must have just brought these home from the factory and packed them away carefully she did there's hardly any crease or box wear on these boxes they're almost perfect i was so thrilled to get them in this condition so this is the first ken fashion and next we have fashion 14677 that also was released in 1995 and 1995 is the first year that uh, Fashion Avenue debut again another almost just perfect box and it has the brown suede it's like a biker jacket with a zipper some jeans cowboy boots and because of the age the rubber bands are no longer holding the shoes in place and the same black sunglasses that was in the prior fashion I showed you and it also has a white t-shirt underneath the uh, suede jacket And this next one is 15182, another 1995 fashion that came out with uh, pleated khakis and a denim shirt. And it has a pair of black loafers. And then we have like, it looks like a notebook with Ken written on the front of it. Again, perfect boxes. Alright, these next three fashions are all lingerie fashions. And these are some of the more popular ones that I'm sure a lot of you have seen. This is the mint green um, robe, sheer robe with a satin nightgown with a rose detail and ribbon right there at the v-neck. And then a pair of mules. And let's see, I think it was something else that was in this box, I'm not sure. I don't remember, but it has the little slippers to go along with it. So you get a robe, sheer robe, edged in satin cuffs. And the matching satin nightgown with the little rose detail there. And this is fashion 14289. The next fashion is 14288 and is the little gingham set with the like pajama jacket, the sh matching shorts, and it has a little white cotton bra top under there with a little pink ribbon. And cute little slippers with white pom-poms and it does have an accessory that's shaking loose in the box it has a pink glitter comb and I think that's what came in the mint green one as well it's probably sh shaking around in the box somewhere because like I say it is right over here in the corner the um, rubber bands have been in there since 1995 of course and they have disintegrated so that happens with a lot of the older fashions and then we have this one 
This is 14291 and this is the only one that I managed to find a name for. Fancy Frills and it is purple sheer little uh, baby doll nighty with the matching panties with lace around the the legs and it has a little bag there a little satin bag well trico bag and a pair of the open toe um, high heel sandals to go with that or mules if you want to call them that and I thought this was one of the prettiest fashion avenues that I had ever seen some of the prettiest doll lingerie I've ever seen made for you know 12 inch dolls 11 inch 1 6 scale dolls and I love these fashions on my newer dolls because they were made for the traditional Barbie body, which is bigger busted. So that means that all of my fashion royalty dolls can fit these fashions perfectly, as well as my older Barbie dolls. But the PS de Resistance is the last fashion that I'm going to show you. You know what? Let me show you the accessories because we want to build to this little climax. So here's a fashion accessory that came not really one that I'm particularly interested in but it's a lot of cute little minis in this one and this is the pretty treasures horse care set it has a saddle it has the ribbons that the um, horse won in the competitions and then we have a trophy it looks like it's a curry comb or a brush and then we have a silver tray here with some sponges it looks like on there so you can see how the rubber bands have all disintegrated in the box here. And this is the back of the box. Now this box is kind of beat up, but that's okay. Everything inside of it is pristine. This one, the, the glue has come undone, but, you know, from age and humidity and other environmental factors. But everything is present and accounted for in here. And this is the Kelly Pretty Treasures Feeding Set. And it has a comb, a brush, a compartmentalized baby dish, a tray, pacifier, a cup. Looks like a little charm there. And a teddy bear and a little silver spoon right here at the bottom. So it's cute little accessories. I'm glad I got it because I found my little Kelly Club doll. So I will add this to my little box of stuff for them for the day when I make a diorama for those dolls. And the last pretty treasure set that I got from Steven is this one that has like a dinner for two. And it has two silver plates. It has some cutlery there. Um, we have some napkins with napkin rings, two wine glasses, a champagne bucket with a bottle in there, and a little bud vase with a rose, a tray. It looks like a teapot and two uh, teacups with saucers there. So that's what came in this set. Everything you need for a nice little dinner for two. And this box is actually pretty good. A little denning there, but I'm not mad at it. So the last fashion is this one. And if you guys know anything about Fashion Avenue, this is one of the most hard to find from 1995. I mean, people were looking everywhere and I think I told you guys about how I found this fashion on eBay because somebody had it listed in the wrong category and I might I managed to find this fashion for like 20 bucks and I kept it for maybe six or seven years and I eventually sold it for hundred and fifty dollars and I can tell you now the box on that fashion was nowhere near as good or pristine as this box but it's just amazing that this has come across my radar at such a wonderful price twice in my lifetime. I remember going from store to store to store just looking for this fashion. And I think I told you guys that when it first came out, I saw it in a Roses store. And they had so many of this fashion that I was like, oh, I don't like it. It'll be there when I get ready for it. Well, little did I know that this would be one of the most hard to find fashions from this whole series from that year for 1995 and then like I said I looked up on eBay and found it because somebody didn't have it listed correctly and I got it and I sold it made my peace with it and 
voila here again it has come across my path again so it consists of these jeans with the red stitching on the side it has it's like an intarsia sweater almost uh, white and gray with this blue yellow and red print on it and then we have some gloves and then the shoes as I said because of the rubber bands have disintegrated a pair of red boots down here in the corner and like I said look at the box the box is like it just came out of the factory it is awesome has a little bit of discoloration here at the top but for all intents and purposes this is a perfect box and I am so thrilled that I have managed to snag these two well this fashion twice in a lifetime like that so for $73 which included shipping I managed to get seven fashions including this hard to find one that easily runs for big bucks on eBay and Macari and these three accessory sets. All of this for $73. And that's why I tell you guys, your connections are invaluable in the dog community. Because I've been knowing Steven for a long time. He's been my proxy at fashion royalty conventions for several years. And we built a friendship that goes beyond the dolls and in real life as well. And he thought enough of us to offer these wonderful charges to the group. And because I have collected so many of them for so many years, I immediately jumped on them. And I don't think I could have ever gotten a better deal, $73, including shipping for all of these fashions, including the hard-to-find one. This is my quick little video just to show you some of my Barbie Fashion Avenue treasures. Now, these are the fashions that I'm adding to the existing tote that I am unpacking. So, they will go with those. So, I wanted to show you these first. I feel so lucky and so blessed to be able to, you know, snag a deal like this. I'm like, wow, I must have done something right. So, now we're going to unpack the tote that these will join. Okay guys, so these three accessory sets, they are part of the collection I already had um, prior to getting this deal from Steven. These are all from 1997 and the first one is the Special Collection Shoes. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of shoes. And a couple of pairs of these shoes fit okay on the Barbies, like the three lower ones. But these hard plastic shoes, they don't really fit that well on them. But I loved it because it was a nice presentation. I have several sets of these that I have unboxed over the years. But I wanted to keep one in its original box for my collection. And then we have special collection fancy jewelry. And this is all hard pink plastic. It has like a little pearlized tone to it. it has a crown a purse a necklace shoes and a cuff bracelet there and then we have another special collections fashion jewelry set and this one has a different style necklace a little bucket type purse that comes in two parts you know you can remove the lid off of the purse and it has a pair of sheer pink gloves with a cuff bracelet shoes and a belt and comb and brush that can fit down inside the bucket, the little purse. All right, next, this one is from 2002. This is a lingerie fashion. This is like a teal blue satin camisole and matching pajama pants with um, a pair of like suede light slippers looks like it's a little bath set with fancy soaps and lotions in there that's a good diorama prop I have a couple of those that I use sometimes in my dioramas and two little tiny um, bottles of nail polish so that's really cute there now this one is another one from 1995 and 96 
So the very first um, lingerie fashions from 1995 were also released in 1996, and this is one of them. And it's kind of like, um, I call it a granny gown. So it's blue with white polka dots, a little lace trim around the cuffs and the neckline, and a little flower at the, at the waist. Has the little open-toed mule shoes and a brush. And this one's 2002 lingerie. It's like a little rib t-shirt knit um, nightgown with a robe, comb, and a pair of fluffy, furry slippers there at the bottom. And this is one of my favorite fashions. It's a trend fashion, and it is from, I want to say this one is 2004. And if you see the back of the box there. Had some cute little trendy fashions. I don't think I ever found these two in the store. So I need to keep looking for those. But here we go. So it's like a mod little orange rib knit jumper. And um, it has a, a separate shirt underneath that with some white hose, matching white and orange boots, and a little mod purse there. Love that look. I actually had this. I have it on one of my dolls right now and I think I found another one so I think I have doubles of this one but I can check that so that means I can let go of the one that I have removed from the box and just keep it in the box until I'm ready to use it again And this is from 1994 and this is like a mod, um, moda fashion I think this was made for the European market but what's interesting is that this mint green teddy in sheer jacket like sheer robe and the little um, thigh high hose and it has a pair of mint green pumps and it has a little bag of accessories like comb and brush and all that stuff in the little bag. But it matches perfectly the Fashion Avenue, the mint green one. Same materials that came along in 1995. So all of this can mix and match and be worn together. So I thought that was interesting there. Then I also had some happy family fashions in here. And I used to have the happy family midge and that whole family. And I sold that off years ago. But I'm kind of glad that I found this because I found my little Chrissy set. The little baby from the years when she came out in Toys at Us. So now I have some more accessories. I have a bottle, uh, some rattles, a bib. I have a diaper, a little onesie. And... A little swaddling blanket and a diaper bag for her so I'll keep this and use that those accessories and I'm not sure what I'll do with the dresses this dress will probably fit a curvy doll and maybe the pants too but we'll see about that in the future when I do my nursery all right now these are not Barbie they are unrelated but I put them with the fashions anyway these are a couple of the Hercules Grecian fantasy and fun and the reason why I bought this not so much for the fashions as it is for the wonderful accessories the little bowl the little um, harp the cup the little platter of fruit the basket the urn all of those little diorama accessories is really what led me to buy these sets and this one has the purple Grecian gown. It's pleated. And um, it has a gold bowl there that you can use in our dioramas. And these little urns and things like that can be painted. And it also has like a little riser, a little Grecian column there. And like a treasure chest that can be customized and decorated. So that's why I bought these sets. And let's see. We also have some Gloria furniture in this tote. I know you guys know all about Gloria Furniture. We were just going crazy when Gloria Furniture came on 
eBay and had all this realistic looking furniture that we could modify and paint and customize for our doll houses. So this preset has a little chest there and I use that as a nightstand. And it has a little vanity table with mirror and the little chair that goes with the vanity table and it has a coat rack. So these are all some pretty good pieces but that's why I bought this many years ago. Gloria pretty set furniture. And as we continue to unpack, so here's some of these Barbie Fashion Avenue accessory sets. This blue one matched a blue fashion. I cannot remember the name. I don't have it handy right now, but it came with a little roughly stole, some ankle strap, blue shoes in there, pearl necklace, compact, and a purse. And this one was from 1999, so I'm guessing the fashion was from 1999 as well. And then this is just the extra uh, 1995 blue gingham set. You guys can see that, and it's all wrapped up in um, bubble wrap because it had a really good box. So I tend to do that. I'll wrap them in some bubble wrap if I want to preserve the boxes and everything. And this accessory set is from 1998. It was kind of hard to find back in the day. Let me. And this is a sport gear set. It has two pairs of athletic shoes, a pair of socks, water bottle. And this pair of shoes is like a high top tennis shoe. It has a box and this is the lid to the box there. And this one, accessory set, this matches the fashion um, Starry Night, I believe it is. And this is called Evening Star. That might have been the name of the fashion. I'm not sure. But I know the, the black dress, it was Starry Night, I want to say. And this comes with the stole, necklace, the little bucket purse, a belt, comb and brush, and a cuff bracelet. And this originally retailed for three dollars and seventy six cent at Walmart back in nineteen ninety nine. Wow. Okay, we had some Best Buys in this tub. Let's see, nineteen seventy eight. Pretty good packaging. Original packaging. Sorry, there we go. So, pretty good packaging for these Barbie Best Buys. They look really good to have come out in 1978. And it has a little instructions on the back about how to dress our dolls because way back then there was no made to move, very little articulation. Most of the dolls were bent armed back, back then, or palms to the rear, straight arms. So this is the famous uh, fish dress. That's what they call this. Because they look like little fishes there. And this is another little uh, tropical print dress. Mint green. I always did think that was pretty. And they look pretty good on our modern dolls now too. So I do buy Best Buy from time to time. Let's see here. So we have some Barbie and Ken golfing fashions. And I bought them because, you know, the Barbie shirt matches Ken's shorts. And they both came with a little bottle of actual Gatorade. So they trademarked that Gatorade bottle there. So those are some very cool little minis. Both have golf clubs, some golfing shoes, two little golf balls. And Barbie's fashion has a sun visor. So I think that'd be real cute. I have to find some of my vintage dolls and put them put these fashions on them one day then I found one of the Barbie fashion touches this is from looks like 1998 and it has like a polka dot I'm I'm thinking this is a bikini with a baseball hat with the letter B on the top of it and then we have a Ken little card fashion from 2003 Two pairs of boxers, a white t-shirt, 
and a pair of casual slides, open toe slides for Ken. Here we have the Special Collections Holiday Presents Gift Set. And it has the original Kmart sticker on there for $14.99. Let's see. When did this come out? This came out in 1998. And I just love this one. I probably have a couple of these still in the box. But I love the tea set. It has gifts. has a gingerbread house. Godiva chocolates. Teddy bear. Little... Caroler there, matchbox car, a tie in the gift box right here with the little bows or watch. Has some gifts for Ken down here, like a shaving set, a necklace, some red suede pumps for Barbie with a matching purse, and it has some gift wrap with ribbon and bows there. So this was an awesome set. Pretty good box. A little denting shelf wear, but that's okay. Look how old it is. But I always keep this one wrapped up in bubble wrap. And I think I have one more of these somewhere around here. But that's the whole purpose of me opening up these totes to find out what I have so I'll know what to sell. And then in this tote, we have a happy hour. Gloria bar and I bought this years ago so I could customize it for my dolls and I have not taken it out of the box yet but I am going to get around to that since I'm able to set up my dioramas now and photograph and play so this is kind of like my trip down memory lane Alright guys, so this concludes my video. Just showing y'all what I found in this particular Rubbermaid tote. A lot of my Barbie Fashion Avenue collection. And I have more. So this will probably be first in that series of videos. Just to share with you some of the things. Some of you may have seen this stuff. But if you're new to collecting, then this is informational for you. Because I'm giving you the year and tell you when it came out so if you decide to search for it on ebay you'll have a little more information to find some of this stuff we have to remember that there are new collectors always coming into the hobby and what i take for granted you know this is brand new information for somebody this is a new discovery for somebody else so i hope that you guys appreciate the information and the video and if you have any questions or comments on any of it just drop me a line in the comment section I'll be happy to give you as much information as I can so you can search for these items and if you like it give me a thumbs up because that helps my channel don't forget to share this with your friends and your dog groups and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet then please subscribe formational and we'll see you back in the next video bye